Hello, 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 and welcome, 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 welcome to yet another session of Tarot Spills the Tea. All right, this is delicious steamy tea today. All right, so, and maybe I'm just smiling and stuff because it just confirmed what I already knew. All right, but we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. So, Dennis is so bothered every time Portia smiles without him being the reason. Okay, we're going to get right into it. For those of you who may not know who I am, I am Indigo Sage, an awakened soul. I do have a spiritually based website at unapologeticallysage.com. You can also find me around social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. This is a friendly advisory summaries are provided before my tarot readings so that we're all on the same page some are short and precise while others may be filled with explicit details of newly discovered info during my research that i choose to share my commentary on Please note, my summaries are not recaps and reviews. My recaps are free-flowing commentary whenever and wherever it happens organically throughout the video. I have gathered you all here today to speak about Mr. McKinley, that is Dennis McKinley, that is Portia Williams' ex fiance and current child's father. Okay, so this, um, right now, you know, they marching across our screen and everything on Portia's Family Matters, which is a vacation that is being televised where she's brought all of the people who she feels are important in her life together on a vacation. I think they're on an island. It's, it's beautiful wherever they are, okay? It's some water and it's very beautiful and tropical. And um, I was going to say there's been some ups and downs, but to be honest, I've just seen some mediums and some downs, okay? Um, just some mediums and some lows. I really haven't seen many highs. Um, the high for me was the great aunt who said, who are these people? Who are you? I don't know these people. Okay, anyway, um, so... Dennis is also there, and the to top it all off, you know, Portia's there with her new fiance, Simon, and she has Dennis there, and you know, that's a story within itself, which we will dive into. So let me give a quick summary rundown about Dennis and Portia. They've known each other for years before dating. And Portia has commented that when they first began dating, she asked him to keep it a secret. Now, that was interesting to me because I was wondering why. Why keep it a secret? What you talking about? But then, you know, as soon as Roa season 11 came knocking, Portia introduced Dennis to the view, the viewing audience in the year 2018. So, you know, naturally I was thinking, oh, you know what? She probably asked him to keep it a secret until you know the show aired or whatever that's just naturally what i'm thinking but i want you guys to duly note 2018 is the year he created detroit equities it has been reported that they appear to be madly in love with one another shortly after we all found out that he was a hot dog restaurant owner soon after she be soon after all of that we were introduced to him she became pregnant engaged he cheated, they broke up, got back together, went to therapy, broke up again, they have a daughter, and currently, they can be seen on our TV screens on vacation together. Portia's Family Matters. Now, this question for this reading is, what's the real reason Dennis brought his big head on that vacation with Portia and her current fiance. What's the real reason? Okay, Dennis the Menace is there. Okay. Um, also, I want to take this time out to let you guys know that I just created a Portia playlist. So pretty much any time where Portia is mentioned in one of the Tarot Spills the Tea, it will be in that playlist. All right. And I will attach it 
somewhere in this reading okay all right you guys let's go ahead and get into this breakdown so you know he was the one i chose for the mansplaining number one episode and during the episode um i gave you guys three men and just like the basic things about them which will i'll get into what his cards said but it was each man i asked a couple of questions that related to a specific woman in their life and for him i chose portia okay so <clears throat> during that breakdown I just gave a quick little background when I asked, you know, who is Dennis McKinley? And so several things that I told you guys was that he was the owner of Detroit Equities, CEO of Queen Virgin Remy, a partner of Nyack Cognac, and CEO of Original Hot Dog Factory. And it was so funny. One of the things I said was that I really thought that the hot dog restaurant would appear first and it didn't it came up last and I really didn't um, know who these other companies were and I explained at the time that if he is the one that gets this full tarot spills the tea session that I would go ahead and look into it and break it all the way down actually it was very much worth it because it's further confirmation of who he really is and his character all right, you guys. So first things first, all of those businesses lead back to the same road. That road leads to Detroit equities. So I had to dive in and find out what the heck is Detroit equities. So first and foremost, let me say that there are two Detroit equities and one is in trouble right now. I am happy to report that one does not belong to Danius. Okay. Here's the thing. What you're looking at right now is just a few ways that Dennis's Detroit equities show up when you are looking it up. And I will show you in a few moments that his website is also different depending on what search engine you use. Okay, now you guys know that I always will go to someone's website if they claim to have a website just just to see if it works. Mr. McKinley has thrown me the biggest curveball yet when it came to just looking at this man's website. All right, so buckle up for that. And I'm going to break down investments because his brand is he's. <laughs> It's about investing to build your brand. All right. So you might want to get a little uh, a pen and piece of paper out. Okay. Because um, I am going to break down what he says that he's doing and what that actually means and what it actually looks like. Okay. So Detroit Equities. So here's just three quick examples of how he shows up. And this is what they call um, the meta of it you know online and you get to choose it uh, or you can anyway you get to choose it all right and um, and I know this stuff to be fact because of the website that I own and operate myself built from ground up myself just everything on me so I know a little bit about this website stuff and all of mine you it doesn't matter what search engine you use my website information and my meta is going to be the same a meta is just a short description you know whatever you want it to be when your information pops up when someone you know types you in the the um search engine his is all over the place his is all over the place it doesn't make any sense and the thing about it is who first of all i don't even have to know what business you're doing if you're all over the place and and you're you're already not showing consistency i it makes me feel uneasy okay especially if you're telling me you're gonna build my brand and it don't look like you're done building yours get into it uh-uh dennis so anyway just real quick um Detroit Entities is a venture capital firm based in Atlanta, Georgia. The firm prefers to invest 
<laughs> to invest in seed, early stage, and later stage companies. The firm seeks to invest in consumer non-durables, and then it goes on. This is all you need to know because it changes. And the thing about it is, I felt that it's, it's very important to just remember right now that it says they prefer to invest in. Because 100% keeping it real honest, when I first looked him up, understand it i couldn't find anything that said that he, that his business will invest in yours okay but looking at that information that i was looking at i just felt like he wants to pull in people who have solid business ideas and he just might steal them from them. i don't know i just was thinking thief 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 now this is just my opinion and I'm entitled to it. So the next one just says, you know, the purpose of the the purpose of McKinley launching Detroit Equities in 2018 was to focus on helping eager, hardworking entrepreneurs around the world with great ideas. Okay, see that's vague. The purpose is to focus on helping eager, hardworking entrepreneurs around the world with great ideas. Okay, what more can you tell me though? Like. I promise y'all, we're going to get to it, but the website basically just says that, and that's it. And then they say, contact us. For what, sir? Brandable brands. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Brandable brands. And again, we look for. They look for. They looking. Okay. No, they're not. Um, we look for entrepreneurs with great ideas who are in the early phase early stage growth and in industries with heavy competition that can be disrupted simply get with us okay what i want y'all to look at is right before that get with us how can we get with you when you cannot spell simply sir let me tell you something i don't know who um and you know what's what's a shame what's a darn shame right here and right now like luther vandross said here and now i promise you I'm upset about this. He can't spell simply. And so, yeah, maybe he hired someone to do his website. The man could have hired me. The man could have hired my child. People, every once in a while, yes, no one's perfect. And yes, we misspell things. Just even if we know how to spell it, sometimes we go real fast and we don't catch it. I know I do that sometimes, okay? Not a big deal. The big deal is that you still got it out there. Do you understand me? It's still there. It's still there. Not only is it here, it's there on his website, on one of his websites that's active. Makes no sense. But I just wanted to point out, all three of these say something different. They all should be consistent. That's all I'm saying. But let's go a little bit further. Okay, you guys. So right now what I am showing you is the first website of his that I came across. Okay, and I'm keeping it short and simple. And I'm going to just show you guys two uh, photos. I want to point out real quick that I am showing you now some of his second website okay and the second website mind you that I did not know about until I clicked on this where you see that yellow arrow you click on that and I actually got an error message and when I backed out of the error error message somehow I was able to click something that brought me here to the second website which all of that was just awkward it's a one pager and it just uses you know it's just a, it's a different layout but it's all weird and then when I went into a different search engine then this which is the second website it came up without a problem it's just doing too much and not enough all at the same time building brands you know through strategic investments, which include but not limited to capital industry, expertise, consulting, and resources that position early idea investors with a clear vision to enter the marketplace. All of that was one sentence. After saying that, do y'all even know what the hell I just said? Okay. So, 
you know, the first one, very simple. Um, first of all, just one page. So he kept it as simple as possible. Why couldn't he catch that simply? So either he didn't catch it. Maybe he's never laid eyes on his uh, page. I don't know. Or even worse, he caught it and doesn't care. And what he is saying is that he's a brand builder. His business, Detroit Equities, helps you build your brand. Then I looked for how, 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 tell me how, what are you going to do? What is the service? Because after he says all of those little simple slick lines, then it just says, contact us if, if you're interested. What is a brand? Okay. So a brand is a business concept that helps people identify a company, product, and sometimes an individual, i.e. Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. They are individual brands. I said that to say this. As I was searching for his brand, since he says he will build your brand, I was looking for his brand and I couldn't really find it, which is why I had an aha moment. I'm like, I think this man is, I think he think that he's his brand. Okay. So the bad thing about that is I didn't even know. Now, another example on the opposite side of the branding is Bill Gates. He allows his product, Microsoft, to be the brand, not himself there's a section where it says look at our portfolio okay and so there's about you know 10 different businesses okay that at first glance they may seem random and <laughs> it and there's nothing wrong with that because the first thing I thought about was PepsiCo which is the Pepsi company so I was thinking, oh, okay, all these random businesses that's in his portfolio, he's trying to be like PepsiCo. Okay, come through, Dennis, come through. Ain't nothing wrong with that. PepsiCo, they build a company within a company to pursue what they call a 1%, 99% strategy. Which, and this is given the, the example of Frito-Lay. Frito-Lay is under PepsiCo. And using the 1%, 99% strategy, which is creating a high, high end snacks, as well as those that appeal to the people who um, can only afford the cheap snacks. Okay. They want to get both of them. So I looked at his portfolio and I can see that's where Dennis is going. And I applaud him for that. Okay. Because it looks like he's on his way. If he would drop that snake oil, <laughs> he got some snake oil salesman tendencies all throughout, but his portfolio mainly consists of products that were food, alcohol, smoking, and hair centric. Nothing wrong with it. But I said, okay, I see what you're doing. I see where you're going. Um, he, because in an interview, he, you know, even said that something about black owned, black owned, black owned. And, and, you know, so he's focusing on, you know, black people. He's trying to be a one-stop shop for, for black folks, okay? He got all that in his portfolio, okay? And, and I applaud him for that. Although I've identified his strategy, I despise his approach. Choosing smoke and mirrors to evade transparency. I'm not down with that, okay? These decisions, in my opinion, they are the type that represents your brand. My opinion and my opinion only. You can do smoke and mirrors and depending on, you know, how good of a salesman you are, <clears throat> that will depend on your success rate 
with using the smoke and mirrors. However, when it comes to numbers, it's a little different. So what we're looking at right now on his second website, and when I say second, it's the second one that I, you know, discovered. At the bottom, there was this, you know, little number widget, um, number add-in or whatever, and it was like moving at first, and I'm like, what is this? What is this? And then it settled on these numbers, and what it says is our numbers 5 13 200 under 5 it says exits under 13 it says successful businesses under 200 it says business ideas I had to take a deep exhale or sigh okay because what exactly is that supposed to do for the potential customer potential client like what I don't know but here's something that I do know all right so I'm getting ready to break it down when it comes to numbers what he actually needs to show the potential client what really counts is the weight of the investment portfolio that mathematical formula is calculated simply by using the total you've paid for each asset or unit and divided by the total each asset or unit is worth in today's market that will provide you with the weight of the investment portfolio. If you want to be fancy, you can add an additional percent by using projected growth. So, for example, okay, your portfolio has five assets that you originally purchased for $100 each, totaling in a $500 investment. In today's market, those assets are now worth $50 each, totaling $250. Use current market value. 250 and divide that by the investment total which is 500 and you get 0.5 to get the percentage of course you're gonna times it by 100 and that is 50 percent so 50 percent is your weight percentage of the investment portfolio as the example I just used okay in this example so in this example, this investment portfolio weight is 50%, which is not impressive. It needs to be pruned like a tree, okay? So some people make a mistake and try to add more in order to improve it, but actually you should take away. Continuing, at this point, all I want to say is, you ain't slick, man. You ain't slick. You ain't slick. You ain't slick. You ain't slick. The impression I get from Dennis is that he provided those numbers as more smoke and mirrors to make it seem like something okay um, either this went way over my head or way under it okay because I can't see it I don't know what people are supposed to get from these numbers okay because they mean absolutely nothing it means absolutely nothing it could say cock cock doo doo and it would be the same um, importance there it means nothing all right. That's not numbers that people need to see if they want to work with you. That's not saying that you are successful at branding. These numbers mean absolutely nothing. OK. In some of the words of Maury Povich, when it comes to the validity of Dennis's business ventures, the lie detector test determined. I'm still looking for it. I'm still looking for it. Okay, so here is a very quick and small recap or reminder, actually, that's what I'm going to call it, a reminder of the man explaining his cards. So his sole message for Portia was life is tough, but so are you. And I liked that. It came in upright. It seemed very comforting, you know, and I and I really I that's something that I saw in him that I liked because that seemed um genuine you know this you know and and of course when I do my tarot it is genuinely um let me say this allegedly but how they really and truly feel whether they have expressed it outwardly or not 
So I was happy to see that. Then the way he pictures their relationship in his mind and also in the previous one I defined what relationship was and you guys are more than welcome to go to that um, uh, session and listen to all of that so it was flirt and flirt came up in reverse and the feeling the energy I was getting from that was that it was really light like it used to be because um, this card can can feel it, each card has their own energy and this card fluctuates it can be heavy or light and this one is light it's really really light which is why it came in reverse because it's it's like it's it's disappearing okay okay catch that it seems like before they used to always you know i don't know if any of you out there have ever heard this saying it's been said that they kind of have an attitude of they feel like they can always have a uh, have relations of sexual uh, manner with the mother of their children or child. And that's what I am. That's really like a lot of heavy energy that I'm getting from him in relates to um, in relation to Portia, that he's one of the guys that probably thinks that in his mind okay whether or not he says it out loud I have no idea but um I'm getting that energy and the reason why this flirt is all upside down and twisted and whatnot and the card is light like I said because it's going away possibly that he probably used to play flirt you know like even after they you know after they were broken up or whatever and that may have led to some things okay and so that, of course, gave him a big head bigger than what it already is. And we see him on the TV screen talking about, I think she's still in love with me. Okay. All right. But um, no, you don't. Not really, really, because your card is upside down. It ain't the same. And he know it ain't the same. That energy that she's, his energy is probably the same. Her energy has changed, which is why he's going, which is why he's projecting. But anyway, let's, let's get into it. Let's get, let's get all the way into it. Okay. And again, the question is, what is the real reason? Dennis McKinley, I like to say Dennis the Menace, Dennis the Menace McKinley has decided to go on this quote unquote, uh, Porsche family matters, vacation with her and her current fiance um and he did all that pretending that he wasn't gonna go he was gonna go and he even called it mexico instead of mexico so that's where they are bam i just remembered so there's five positions and then there's a bonus position the first position is the position of the past the past card is very important because it is what was highly considered when the person made the decision that I've asked. It's represented by the King of Wands, upright. And he had a mixture, some up, some down. Um, they like variety and get bored easily. That explains the cheating. Um, they may be quick tempered, self selfish, and overconfident to a point of arrogance. Yes, that is how he acts. Failure to follow through on a project in the past makes him play the what if game in his head. Okay, um, and I could totally see that going on. Uh, and, and that's the reason for all his projection. All these times where him and his mama's talking and, and you know, they both, because to me, she act like it too low-key that, you know, Portia still wants to be with him, this and that and all this kind of stuff. And she kind of, to me, to be honest, keeping it 100, keeping it 100, um, she act like she wants them to be together too. Now, I don't know if she has said that and I missed it because, you know, um, I do watch it. I, I put it on. I turn it on. But I'm not sitting up there deep, deep into it like it's an educational show or something, you know. Try not to have my brain cells die out. So I got to limit myself with this stuff that I'm watching. But anyway, I, I do get the overall feeling definitely that Dennis wants to be with Portia. And I think his mom wants him to as well. So let's look in the um current present position well 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 okay 
In the current position is the Queen of Cups. Cups represent water, but cups really majorly is known for representing love. Okay. Um, and also, let me just say too, we just came from the past, which was represented by the King of Wands. The Wands represent fire. All right. So fire, fire, you know, just that fire energy. Um, but anyway, here, the cups. Now she came in in reverse. So also let me remind you guys that the royalty of the tarot deck, which is the kings, queens, knights, and pages, they oftentimes represent people, people in our life, major people who are very important to us and sometimes ourselves. So we already know. The King of Wands was him. Okay, that was very clear. Queen of Cups. Presently, who was the Queen of Cups? Miss Portia. Why he got her all in reverse? Here we go. What's representing her is in reverse. So, um, reverse, it means a distinct lack of emotional maturity suggesting that you're feeling insecure. These are his feelings. He's, he's, these are his feelings about her. Okay, not saying that she is feeling this way he is feeling this way as it relates to her there it is there feeling insecure okay emotional he's lacking emotional maturity i was going to say he's immature emotionally that's the same thing but that's you know i, I could just see how he was acting and i'm like how old is he how old is he okay let's continue okay before we go on to discuss this best real quick let me say also with that um with you know the emotional immaturity the reason why i was questioning as i was watching him on tv you know how old is he is because he reminds me of the the, the little boy like you know the playgrounds um in elementary okay where the boy chases the girl or picks on the girl or you know knocks her paper down or something like that and he treats her like we think, you know, in elementary, I know I used to always think, dang, why he's so mean to me? But, you know, as an adult, you now know, oh, he just wanted your attention because he likes you. You know how adults tell kids that. And, and as a child, I didn't know, I said, well, if he liked me, why is he treat me so bad? I don't understand. Well, some guys, they never grow out of that when they are emotionally immature. So him running around claiming that she she'd love him. No, I think it's opposite, dude. You know, if, if he could uh, push her down, he would. You know, I've been pushing down plenty of times in um, elementary for no reason, except that apparently the boy liked me. That is so crazy to me. But anyway, um, so made it even worse when I didn't like him back. OK, and then it was serious. He was serious about pushing me down. OK, the best is in reverse. And it's queen of pentacles. Pentacles is what? The coin. The coin is what? The money, honey. Okay. Queen of pentacles is a good card. It's a good card. When it's up right, it's in reverse. Now, who in their right mind would have their money reversed as the queen as the best of the situation? Mm. He is jealous of Portia's current earning potential. Or he believes her actions are motivated by money only. And the best of the situation for him would be the exposure of that. The latter of it. If she's motivated by money only. He thinks that. And I'm sure he's not alone. Alright. I'm not going to even. This ain't even about Portia. It ain't even about Portia. This is about um Dennis. So either he's jealous of her, and it could be both, okay? This is where two things can be right at the same time. Either he's jealous of her current earning potential, or he believes she's just in it for the money. And, you know, she he got her reversed, and, and that's the best. I don't, I really don't like it when someone, wish, and I've said this before, and you're going to hear it again, I don't like it when someone's energy is that of they will feel good when someone else feels bad. They'll be okay when something bad happens to someone else. So they're okay if someone else is not okay. I don't like that. I really, really don't. And that type of energy runs rampant in readings that are either directly for Portia or someone having to do with Portia. Someone in her 
uh, hemisphere or whatever, you know, that, that has to do with her. And that just goes to prove like attracts like. What you put out, you get back, okay? Because she has some of this energy too. Not in, the, you know, of course this reading is not about her, but it's, um, I'm talking about previous readings I've done on, done on her. So let's continue. Next up is what he sees as the worst. However, this is a time where I like to ask you guys to please click like and subscribe. It means so much to me, okay? Really, 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 because I am still new. You know, I am still new and um, still under a thousand. So I know I will meet that goal one day, okay? Yes, I will. But today, right here, right now, let me tell you, first and foremost, I do appreciate you just listening. This in it of itself is your support for me, and I truly appreciate it. Um, I also love when you guys engage in the comments as well. That makes my day. That gives me life. But right now, I'm just going to ask you guys, can you please click like and subscribe? Here we are at the worst. The worst is the chariot upright, okay? Can y'all kind of see the theme of this? Okay, because you know all of this is relating to Portia, his feelings towards Portia, and you know why why he trying to why he all up on their vacation, um, causing ruckus, causing ruckus because um, <laughs> you're not acting like Uncle Ruckus. But anyway, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there from the boondocks. But anyway, um. Now, take a look at this card. Y'all know I'm into imagery and everything and whatnot. This is a woman, okay? Royalty, okay? With riches and gold surrounded. Chariot, you know, is moving forward, leaving, going, okay? In a royal manner, okay? Again, he sees her, this person is Portia. All right, look at all that gold and stuff, and they're going. And this is in the worst position, Dennis the menace. Why you want to be a menace, McKinley? His mind of envy has convinced him that the worst is for Portia to be treated like royalty and carried away in forward movement. Get all the way into it. Because he don't want her to. Okay? He don't want her to get into it. What's to come is the emperor in reverse. With a lack of compassion or emotional connection, the emperor uses more force where force does not serve him. His arrogance makes him see the emperor when he looks in the mirror. I'm talking about Dennis, of course. In reality, he struggles with those characteristics as he is his own worst enemy. Okay? Which is a call back to the reverse queen of cups which says that he's emotionally immature and um i could just see that he was emotionally immature but also i can see his arrogance i can see emperor energy just like with that king of wands energy he has good he has good potential okay i can see it in him it's just that he ain't using it right he ain't using it right. Point blank period. So let's, speaking of energy, let's go ahead and look at his energy. Okay, this is the bonus card. The energy card. So basically what's coming up, what's, I mean, not coming like as, as in coming right up, but what's to come as it relates to him is his emperor, emperor energy in reverse, which will cause him to be his worst inner enemy. Okay, which to be honest, I kind of feel like that has come out out a little bit um he's had a consequence of that already because Portia was in the social media realm I want to say IG I'm not for sure I can't remember but she was checking him about that robe and and I believe she said something about not paying child support like he's supposed to all kinds of stuff and even though she's the one that did that action it was a reaction to something that he did that was foul he's not his energy is not that of what he is saying he's saying one thing and thinking and feeling and acting a different way okay which is that smoke and mirrors type of energy okay which also may be the reason why and I am gonna slide this in people magazine quoted Portia um, saying that 
if we did to Dennis, if we didn't have a baby, you and me probably wouldn't even be talking anymore. Okay. So again, that is his emperor energy in reverse. Not cool. That ain't cool. Let's keep going to see what his um his energy influence is. Energy influence. He recognizes that sometimes it's necessary to take big risks in order to achieve his goals. His energy influence is two of pentacles. Pentacles is about the coin, which is the money, honey. So, but two of pentacles always means choices, choices. You know, someone is... Um, Balancing out, weighing choices, weighing options, you know, thinking what would be best, what should they do? You know, he almost looks like he's juggling it, you know? And so taking big risks was his energy as he was decided. That's the, I always tell you guys, the energy influence is the bonus card that I decide as a tarot reader to go ahead and talk about anyway. The reason being is because. Using the metaphor that this reading is like a tree, well, the energy influence is the roots, which are the root of all of it, which allows the trunk of the tree to grow and, and the branches, the leaves and the fruit and everything, they all start at the root of it. So that is why I feel like it is very important to discuss the energy influence of it all. The energy influence of it all was him weighing out. So I, first of all, let me say this. I thought it was so fake when I saw him kind of going back and forth with the should I go, should I not? However, after this reading, I, I stand corrected. Um, well, not necessarily corrected because I didn't state it as a fact. I just said that's how I felt. But anyway, so he um, he really was trying to decide whether or not to go. So, okay, I'll give it to you. And he decided to go ahead and take that big risk in order to achieve his goals. So, you know what? The question then becomes, what are his goals? Mm. All right, Sages, let's see here. One more thing before we go out. All right, let me ask you guys one more time to click like and subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're notified of the upcoming readings, which the next one will be the mansplaining number three. And I will honor the request in the comments and also remember to share okay because this is actually my first time you guys giving Dennis the menace a session all right and above and above all I would like to thank you guys for your support all right I really really it means a lot from the bottom of my heart I want to thank you guys and be sure to drop down in the comments because this is the first time we're talking about Dennis up in here. Like, for real, for real. All right? And especially, let me know what y'all think of his business. Because that business, let me tell you something. When I got done with my nerding out on his business, all I can say is it reminded me of Sheree. With the She by Sheree. Having a fashion show with no fashions. How dreadful. Like. Um, Dwight said it's like he has a brand without a brand he's a branding company without a brand how dreadful but I could be wrong okay because that's just my opinion so drop down in these comments and let me know how y'all feeling uh, what y'all feeling about Dennis and everything okay thank you so much please remember to wash your hands and be safe all right because of all that stuff out there you know just let's all be safe and, and healthy you know I prayed for everyone to just be good and healthy in their mind and body for 2022 okay so let's try to at least achieve that all right all right you guys thank you so much for tuning in bye